Okay, so we have seen about the MIMO OFDM transmitter scheme. Now we will see about MIMO <clears throat> MIMO OFDM receiver schematic. So just and then um uh, just remember the block diagram of OFDM and MIMO block diagram. So in MIMO, if you see there are transmitters and receiver, receiver antenna. So what happens? The signal gets received by all the antennas, right? Like this. Similarly, from here it is received by all the antennas. So now we were, we are just going to combine this MIMO OFDM technology. That's all. So we will be having the receiver antennas. Say suppose this is our first receiver antenna. This is the second receiver antenna. And similarly, this will be the art <clears throat> receiver antenna. Okay. At the receiving end, what we are supposed to do, see the cyclic prefix have been added at the transmitter. So when we receive, we have to remove the cyclic prefix. So there will be a block here that will remove the cyclic prefix, CP removal block okay so now once the cp is removed then we, next step is what this is a serial data which is coming in. So this needs to get converted to parallel. So there will be a serial to parallel Tmux. All right, so now each path will have the parallel data. So now what it has to go through, what would be the next block? Can somebody tell me what would be the next block? Just see the... Uh, OFDM receiver. In transmitter, we have taken IFFT. So at the receiver end, what we have to do? FFT. Yes, it should be endpoint FFT. So the signal will go through this endpoint FFT. One second. Eh?
All right. So this will go through this endpoint. Then the output of this. So now if you see uh, the output, all right, so it has to go through uh, the several antennas. So for that, we will have a MIMO detection or the MIMO detection at the output. So we will be having MIMO detection. So each path will have the MIMO detection. Okay. So now if you see there are some signals over here that is the subcarriers right so here how the uh, the uh, mimo detector will do is that so whatever the uh, receiving antenna so we are receiving the signal from each right so here what happens is that this will be received by this mimo detector similarly this signal uh, this subcarrier will go to the next mimo detector Okay, and similarly, this one will go to the next one. So like that, it keeps on going. Let me put it clearly. I think I'm not able to draw this properly. One second. Huh? <clears throat> so here, say, I'll just make it in some other color. So from this, so say, suppose this is your I subcarrier. Okay. So this will go to the first block MIMO deduction. 
similarly then uh, i sub carrier will go to the next one so like that this will go to the last one similarly if you take the next block the i sub carriers from the second path will go through the first one second one and like that the last one similarly this block okay for this path so these sub carrier will go like this So this will be the MIMO detection. So these are the I subcarriers which will go through the MIMO detection. That is MIMO detection block for I receive antenna. So this is the MIMO. detection mimo detection block for i or r receive antenna we will make it as r receive So depending upon the antenna numbers, you will have that many number of MIMO detections. So the subcarriers from the uh, each path will uh, go through this MIMO detection. So this output of this MIMO detection will be given further to a parallel to serial converter. So this will be given to a <clears throat> parallel to CDL MUX. This gets converted to parallel to serial. Similarly, this block will be a parallel to serial. Okay. Further, if you see this output of the serial. So again, here it is going to be n number of channel right so this will be given to a another parallel to serial marks and then the data will be received at the receiver end is it clear so this how the mimo ofdm transmitter the the receiver schematic will be <coughs> so here so by employing this MIMO AFDM, the MIMO frequency channel, uh, selective channel, it can be converted into a set of parallel flat fading MIMO channels. Okay. So this is how we will be converting the MIMO frequency selective to a MIMO flat fading channels. So this is a technology which is used in these 4G communication and all. Okay, is it clear? So with this, we are completing our second unit.